if I give you one hundred dollars yes. in fifty cent coins, uh, that's two hundred fifty cent coins. Yeah. Uh, how much do you think Australia should give to foreign aid? How many of those fifty cent coins should we uh, give to foreign aid? Uh, that's a good point. Out of how many fifty cent coins? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. It's a pretty tough question. How many? Um. Um, that's a good question, but uh, about one or two. Seventy cents. <laughs> uh, so the first eight. Five. Uh, I would say about um, five or six coins. Five yeah. or six coins. Yeah, because you have to be realistic as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's yeah. pressure from I mean domestic pressure. Yep. You know? I agree. So, yeah. Okay. Considering the cost of living in Australia is also high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think we should give like 10 to 15 percent. With the whole Millennium Development, they should give about 0 0.7. But they're committed to 0 0.5. And yeah, even 0 0.5 isn't enough. I don't think 0 0.7 is enough either. They, it's just people going, okay, they're not giving anything, so this is the better of the two evils. Well, I know there's an agreement that makes it about a coin. But uh, maybe two coins. That one. That one. Why? Seems like a good number. Oh, I think you should probably give at least twenty. 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 Twenty, 20 coins or twenty. Twenty coins. Twenty, 20 coins. So like ten percent. Yeah, about ten percent. Because it's a good cause. It depends. I mean, obviously, there's a whole heap of factors that you've got to take into consideration. Yep. You know, there's a whole debate about whether or not foreign aid should be tied, you know, to who are we giving foreign aid. But a lot of aid is given to countries that have, like, natural disasters. So you're yep. looking at places like Indonesia, when they had their, that natural disaster, we gave a lot there. We're yep. giving a lot to New Zealand. So it, very, it varies. But every year, I guess, political considerations yep. have to be taken into into consideration, into yeah. definitely. But do you think um, there is a need to increase that? Um? Depends why you're giving foreign aid. If yep. you're giving foreign aid to help people who are starving, yep. right? For example, in an African country, yep. then you know, yes, it would be good to, to to give money. But I don't believe money is the solution. Yep. So if you're giving to sort of a corrupt government, definitely, it's a waste Absolutely. of money. Like you're just helping them to arm themselves. Yep. So imagine you had a hundred dollars and you converted that hundred dollars into fifty cent coins. You then have 200 coins. Out of those 200 coins, how many do you think Australia spends each year on foreign aid? About two. It's a lot less than that, something like 20 cents. 20 cents. Maybe. Yep. Maybe less. Yeah, it's like less than, less than a percent. I think about 0.3. Yep. So, about point so three point three GDP. Yes. So yeah. Roughly, say, maybe 30% of the Five. Five. <laughs> yeah. Probably about half a coin. Half a coin, or half of one coin. Half of one coin. I think about five. Five, five coins. coins yeah. Out of the two hundred. I'll probably say ten percent. Ten percent. Ten percent. Less than one. Probably four. <laughs> I don't know. Probably. Well, as a percentage of GDP, we we'll probably give. Maybe one percent at most. So, would you be surprised to learn that Australia does not even give uh, zero point five percent in foreign aid? You're joking. I'm surprised actually. Okay. Considering seeing the figures, I thought they actually give a lot. Uh, I would actually. Yes, yeah. I would have thought it would have been about two or three percent at least. I would have thought. You're not. You're joking. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised by that. Yeah. But would you be surprised to know that Australia doesn't even give one 50 cent coin? I would not be surprised actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're primarily a developed land of opportunity and freedom and we should be giving money back to the people who are producing half of our imports and are keeping our lives going. So, 1.7 billion people live in extreme poverty and you know these days we're global citizens like we can be dating people who live in other countries like you know we truly are part of a global network and so people who are living in extreme poverty um you know they need assistance to write to help them rise up the poverty ladder and get out of really bad situations and obviously poverty you know it's not just being poor it's disease it's 
no access to education, it's maybe not being able to participate in your political process. So there's a whole lot of issues with poverty that are really bad. Well, we're all, we're all part, part of the same world. If uh, It's a bit like uh, if one state of Australia is not doing as well as another state of Australia, it affects the whole whole nation and similarly if, the, uh, if some nations of the world are not doing well, it does affect the whole world. So yeah. it's, it's to our benefit in the long term to, uh, to help other nations uh, lift them up hopefully to our standards or better and then perhaps they'll, they'll leave it help us in the future. I think we should help, help as many people as we can yep. and do it in the best way that we can. Okay. That yep. doesn't always mean money. Either.